In this episode, um, I'm going to cover uh, my HHD cornice object, and what I'm going to do is kind of show you uh, a step-by-step -step on how to actually create a gutter with the object itself. So, what I want you to do is, in, Ar in ARCHICAD, I'm using version 18 at the moment, but um, I'll walk you through how simple this is. First of all, um, if you scroll down and zoom in to uh, what I've done is created a profile of a 6 inch K style gutter. And as you can see, you know, I started out with a fill tool and then I copied it and then I offset it in and then I traced it out with a slab tool. So this is a slab tool. If you open it up, I've got it, you know, just one foot thick and uh, on the current story. And not too much. Uh, uh, had to worry about there. The biggest thing is, is make sure that you use your origin uh, is uh, set. And now what I'm talking about the global origin, as you can see that X right there is the global origin is it's the bottom uh, left corner. So making sure that that's placed first. <laughs> and then what you do is select that object. Okay. And then what I will do is hit F5 for 3D. And then I'm going to go pull up my 3D. Um, 3D properties, uh, projection settings, I'm going to go to par uh, parallel projection, I'll hit side elevation, and put the azimuth at 90 degrees. That's the most important thing is put it at 90 and set it at side elevation. And hit OK, and as you can see, it's, uh, you can zoom out just a little. And then what I want to do is I want to select that object, and then I'm going to go hit File, and then go down to... Uh, library and objects and then I'm going to say selection as object all right and this time I'm just going to embed it into the current library but if you'd like if you want to use it then you can store it into your uh, custom library uh, objects uh, folder which uh, I've covered in a previous uh, video so I'm going to name this uh, gutter for simple and then hit save all right, now here I can specify the surface area, which uh, I'll just do, uh, you know, just a violet uh, surface material. And then, uh, you know, if you want to change these fields, you can. I usually go to airspace on that and then click OK. All right, so now you've created the object and close that window. Now you come back to here. And this is where you uh, can specify now the created object that you've got into in um the cornice. So you go to your uh, object tool and then I want to pull up objects. I'm going to go to linked library and I've got it loaded here. So then what I'm going to do is go down to where I've got it uh, in roof and I'll select the cornice object right here. So now I've seen the profile here. I set flat cornice, and then what I want to do is I'm going to put the shingle strip. Here's what I'm going to change the shingle strip to. So I'm going to go to here, I'm going to choose object, and then I'm going to specify the object is gutter. Alright, so now the gutter object is placed. So what I want to do here is specify uh, just some round numbers here, but you can be exact if you want to. Now one thing to note is that the dimension is going to be placed from the outermost of what your shingle strip uh, thickness is and the overhang. So if you've got, say, for instance, a typical one foot overhang, and you can see here the shingle, uh, shingle strip width is five inches, then of course I'm going to have to allow for that. So what I'm going to have to do is make this total overhang one foot five inches, and that's going to compensate for the thickness of the uh, gutter. So now I go to my layers, and I just keep it on equipment. Hit OK, and then I can place my first object. All right, as you can see here, I can select that. I go to F5 and 3D. I'll change the perspective. Hit OK. And you can see the gutter is in included into the object. Okay. Now, it took on all of the material. Of course, I don't have that specified. Uh, so if I want to select that object, go into Properties, 
then I can go down to materials and then here I can specify what I want so I've got it here shingle strip material if I want to change that to uh, let's see uh, we'll do brass and then the uh, cornice material I'm going to do uh, just a white and the roof material that's for a return return eaves so anyway so now as you can see the gutter is in one color and the corn the rest of the cornice is at a different color uh, to show you how this mends up, I can do, uh, I'm just going to do a, just a simple, uh, what I've got a hot key. It uses that command key. So what I'm going to do is do a mirror. And I'm going to do a mirror copy. And then I'll do a mirror copy. And then just think of it as I'm going around. So I'm going to show you an outside corner and an inside corner. And then... Uh, Rotate a 45 and uh, drag that to this point. Okay, so now when I select this, I can stretch these points outside point here, outside point there, inside point here, and inside point here, and then I'll just go past it so I can kind of shoot over that edge. Okay, so now so now when I select it all, hit F5, and you should see the cornice and the gutter goes around in the profile that I've created. Now, to further that, um, also within this object, I also have a takeoff tool which is uh, if you go over here on the uh, your view map and under schedules and elements you got HHD cornice and if it's not listed there it's within the object so if you've got it uh, loaded within your library it should come up so if not then uh, what you can do is go into uh, when you open it as you see it says flat cornice there's four quantity, it's two by six, one by six fascia, freeze, and then shingle strip is object. Okay, and then uh, trim. Um, trim is another profile we can make as well. And I'll, and I'll make another video showing that one. And the total overhang is one foot five. So, to do, if you don't have it, then you can go into the uh, scheme settings, and then you go to import, and then you import it where that, where that scheme uh, uh, is uh, located and then once it's imported and there you have it so then now you can have a kind of a quick take off of, of uh, uh, your, li your uh, lineal foot of your cornice and that concludes this app thank you